Today I want to take a look at NVIDIA Canvas, which is a free tool made by NVIDIA. This is a tool where you can make a couple of simple brush strokes and it uses IE uh, powered uh, databases to create amazing pictures. So you can create something simple like this and you get an image like this. Let's just dive in and see how it works. Thing to note is that you do need a new NVIDIA RTX card. So anything starting at the 2000 uh, series. Let's take a look and download the beta and check it out. So when you open up the tool, you greet it by this window. And the first thing to note is the, the tools that we have here. So we have a brush, we have a line, eraser, a fill-in tool, a picker, a material picker, and a hand tool to move, and a brush size. Up here we have a new file and all the usual suspects. Then we have different views. So we have only an image view, we have a dual view, and we have a map view. And then of course the size of the image. So let's keep it at 100% for me. And here we have all the different materials. So we have something like sky that's, that's already here. And let's say we pick something like a hill and we and just start painting like this. Now creating a line. I want to get like more brushy thing going on. Like this. And let's say we do it all the way here. So like so. Get a fill tool, fill it in. And we have the start of something. We have a mountain here. Let's do like a little mountain like so, and close it up, maybe do a little film. And we have the start of a, of a scene going, maybe some snowy tops, and like so, a snowy top here. Now a smaller brush size, Let's see how if this works the way we want, like so. Maybe we, we do some grass up front here. It's starting to look like something. So as you can see, you have a lot of materials. Since the new version, there's a whole new row of materials to play around with. You can make some forest going on here. A little tree here, little tree here. A couple of clouds going like so and just doodling and as you can see I'm doodling here but you could also just doodle here so maybe you like this more this direct input bit of rain going here oh what's happening here we are starting to miss part of our mountain but it does work for us like so and let's see if we can make this look a bit better. So I like to go back and forth between the two. I get something that I like. So maybe here a bit. And maybe a couple of flowers going on. Ooh. See how that just snapped into a different look? Always good to note what's happening. So I'm not liking that so much. Maybe just some simple grass. So let's say this is something you like working with. Uh, so we have the materials and then a really nice addition is that you can switch between the, the sets of images that it uses to get completely different styles. And you can switch it up here. So this actually looks really nice. Maybe paint in something here. Maybe it's just better if we close off the mountain a bit. This feels a bit more like so. Close this down. I don't know if this is better, but let's see what's happening. Hmm. I'll go back a couple. And all these different looks. Uh, in my experience, the best thing to do is to work in a look and keep working on that because uh, the mixture of 
images is really reliant on the, on the style. And you can also add different layers. Let's say you want to test out how it looks with like a lot of flowers, like so. You can drop that on another layer. If you don't like it, you can switch it up. This is quite helpful. And then we can just export it. We can export this PSD or as a PNG. Just call it test. And as we save it out, you can check it out here. I find it quite an enjoyable tool to play around with. I don't know if I actually am going to use it in my workflow, but I can imagine if I want to get some quick ideas out, uh, it's really nice to jam with. And I'm really excited for a future like this, where we have tools like this in actual applications where we can just start iterating and iterating more. Let me know what you think about it.